Hi, Daniel. It's Sam here from Nine News. How you going? Good, thank you. It's good, mate. Congratulations on the contract extension. And we just saw that one go out. How did that feel to be re-signing? Yeah, pretty excited. Um, yeah, I'm stoked uh, to be able to stay here. Uh, obviously, it's home for me. And, um, yeah, I'm just really grateful and glad to be here for another two years. So, um, yeah, it's great news. And, um, yeah, I'm really happy. There was one thing that stood out to me in that as well, is that realising that you're the longest serving member of the, the back line of the club. How does it feel to kind of see, you know, all these young players come through and, and as well as look at the guys that you've played with over the years as well? Yeah, it's um, obviously sort of makes me feel old a bit. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it's good to see the young boys coming through and um, the next generation. Um, yeah, just to be a part of it and um, see them grow and obviously the the players um, passed. Um, yeah, I was pretty fortunate to play with them, and um, yeah, obviously I'm still um, still improving myself as a player. So I'm still learning a lot, and um, still got a lot, uh, a lot to give. So um, again, I'm just happy to be here. And, um, yeah, here at home. And how much does it mean to you, the Roosters, as a club, to be staying here, and also, you know, to be looking at being a one club player? Yeah, it means a lot. Obviously, um, um, it's where I started and where it all began for me. So, um, yeah, it definitely means a lot and um, all that they've done for, for myself um, since the beginning. And, and like I said, I'm still um, giving back to the club and um, still learning. So, um, again, I'm really happy just to be here and um, um, watch myself continue to grow. Oops, it's Dre from Roosters Media. Mate, um, congrats again. Um, you. you must have your eye on the try scoring record. Um, nah, not, not at all. Um, but obviously if it does happen, yeah, I'm pretty happy to add that to the list of accomplishments. But um, yeah, I'm just, just happy to be playing football and um, happy to be here at home. So um, yeah. Awesome. And um, obviously, it's not the most desirable result from last week, but how's it feeling in camp? You know, um, obviously, you guys had that um, training camp at the beginning of last week. How did that sort of go and that sort of, I guess, galvanise the group and bring them together? Yeah, the camp last week was, um, um, yeah, we trained really well. And um, um, even though the result didn't go away last weekend, but we still got a lot to improve. And um, look, the boys are confident. I'm confident in them. And um, we've come in today um, ready to train, so um, yeah, we've still got a lot to prove and uh, definitely have a lot of confidence in us um, training and playing well this weekend. Awesome. And our possible return for Victor this week, I mean, how much of a boost would that be for the side? Yeah, it'll be, it'll be massive. Um, obviously, the energy he brings and the toughness and strength, so um, yeah, the boys will be stoked to have him back this week. And um, yeah, again, we just can't wait to go out there on the, on the weekend. Awesome. Thanks, man. Daniel Patema from The Telegraph, how are you? Good, thank you. Congratulations on re-signing. Thank you very much. Um, also, Lindsay Collins has re-signed. Can you um, talk to us a little bit about him and why that's such an important re-signing for the club? Yeah, he's a massive signing. Um, he's an awesome bloke and also uh, an awesome team teammate. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy for him and um, um, he's done so far uh, so good for us and obviously he's got a lot more to um, give to the team so um, again I'm just happy to be a part of it to see him grow um, and what he can bring to the team so again really happy for him and um, yeah really excited. Um, you've got Canterbury this weekend um, am I right in thinking that your mum is actually a huge Bulldog supporter? Yeah she, she's still a diehard um, we all grew up as a Bulldog supporter growing up but um, she's still pretty solid and um, yeah it's the only team she'll go for um, at the moment, but yeah, every other every other weekend she uh, supports them. But um, if they're not playing, then it's obviously me. So um, yeah, she's still a diehard fan. Oh, so she is she is supporting you um, this weekend? Yeah, she is. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> she has to. Do you still live out out in Sydney's West? Yeah, still out there, still there. So um, yeah, um, travel. Um, doesn't bother me at all, and um, yeah, I'm still loving the drive. So yeah, still out there.
um, obviously there's a lot to like about, you know, living in Bondi and near the beach. So why have you sort of decided to, to stay out um, to stay out in Auburn, I think it is? Um, just to look after my family, I guess. And um, yeah, it's, it's home, it's where I was born. And um, yeah, um, parents love it. So um, yeah, they, they don't want to move out. Um, out here, out east, so um, yeah, Auburn's home for them. Um, were you a Canterbury supporter growing up? Yeah, obviously I was a Bulldogs junior um, through and um, yeah, grew up a Bulldogs supporter, but obviously didn't go that way, obviously coming over here and um, yeah, it's changed my whole perspective. Did you have a favourite Canterbury player? Um, yeah, it would have been El Masri, um, Matt Utai, um, obviously Sonny. So <laughs> <laughs> few of the few of the greats, um, but yeah, um, yeah, it's all outstanding players. Um, obviously, you guys have had sort of another bit of a small kind of COVID pick up with um, Fletcher Baker and Brad Abbey. I, I saw that training was cancelled yesterday. Has it been a, a disruption for you guys? Um, no, nah, not at all. I guess it's just one of the things we've got to adapt towards, and um, yeah, we. Um, got sent out a mobility and stretch program that we had to do. So in a way, we still had training, but at home. So um, obviously it's our first day back this week. And um, yeah, it's, it's good to see the boys. And it's obviously the day to get started for, for Saturday. So yeah. Thanks, Jenny. Thank you.